Good morning, you're listening to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Har. This morning, my guest is Roger Vogue, the Flooring Division President for Star Flooring and Decorating. Roger, how you doing? I'm just great today. You're going to be retiring pretty soon, and I thought it'd be good to talk to you and get a little bit of your reflection on your career in the business. You've been 33 years at Star, and out of those 33 years, you spent 21 years focused in flooring, right? That'd be correct. I know you from coming to the NFA meeting because Star is part of the NFA. I guess start at the end for a second. Tell us why you're retiring. Well, I think it's just time to move on to other things. You know, I have no intentions of retiring 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 and yeah. I still want to contribute I have other goals I want to accomplish but I've had a long run a 43 year total career mm-hmm. it's been a demanding career and a joy the time is right I need to get back to Wichita particularly for my wife of 44 years we have five grandkids three children in Wichita now her name is Lynn right yes what is the date of your final day at Star the end of June and what are your plans after that? Well, for me, I tend to like to think through things. I'll decompress some for about six months. My wife and I have uh, built a lake house, and I'll spend some time working on finishing that up, time with the grandkids. Now tell me, you were at Star for many years and then moved over into the flooring business. What attracted you to that business? We went to a divisional approach back at that time, and prior to that, I was managing all operations. We needed somebody to lead the flooring division. I volunteered for the job. At that point in time, we were struggling a little bit in flooring. You know, we did a best practices feature on STAR back, I think it was January of 2014. And at that time, three locations and about $25 million in sales. It's been a very successful business, hasn't it? I'd be surprised the numbers weren't, weren't higher than that. It has. We've been over $40 million the last couple of years throughout the total division. A lot of that's came with growth when we came to the Oklahoma City market. We've had a, a pretty good growth trend about 12 million when i started now over 40 million so all things considered we're pleased with what the teams were able to accomplish and what do you like most about what you do in the business i like making people successful that's uh-huh. basically my job as a leader to build teams and that's what i get the most satisfaction of trying to develop young talent or any talent and give them more opportunities which is uh, what growth provide you know i'm very competitive i like to win I like to be successful how has the business changed in your 21-year tenure in flooring? There's been a few major product trend changes that have came through in my time. The move to hard surface, the introduction of laminate, and some of those things for us in Oklahoma City, you know, plank wood floor tiles has, you know, dramatically changed our product mix. Some of the challenges have been the same from day one and continue today and are things the industry you know, continues to deal with. I elected to narrow our focus to the installed sale, try to become an expert in adding value to products. As you know, in the flooring business, anybody can, has access to the same products Star has, so we add value through the services we provide by our people. You know, installation is the most difficult part of the business, so that's one reason to be there. If it was easy, anybody could do it. Does that mean you don't sell DIY products? We really don't. Yeah. If we do, it's by accident. That's pretty much through all of our segments. Mm-hmm. Uh, whether it's retail, builder, or, or commercial. Yeah, one of the key things that you guys do, call it Kaizen, that process of, uh, of asking after the job is finished about satisfaction, right? Well, we do some follow-up. but know the Kaizen, you know, that's more of the planning process itself. Mm-hmm. We traditionally work with the three-year vision of where we're going, and we execute plans to move through that. Star's a long-term company. Our thinking's long-term. Sometimes that requires making investments that, that, that don't pay off quickly. I call myself grinders. We just keep grinding things out, making each process a little better. So 21 years ago, it was mostly carpet, linoleum. Now there's a lot more hard surface. Do you sell all different flooring types? We do. In, in Wichita, a broader mix of products than in Oklahoma City in the builder business, which is our biggest segment here. It's mm-hmm. the, dominated by tile. Plank tile came in and, and swiped a lot of market share from wood flooring in the last three years. Now almost 50% of our tile sales are plank tile. Probably the biggest switch in product mix that I've ever experienced in my time in the industry. Let me ask you, as you look back on your career in flooring, what, what was your fondest moment and or, and or your biggest achievement? Well, in terms of fond moments, it's always the relationship. That's the thing I'll miss most about retirement. I jokingly call the industry a cult because once you're in it five years you tend not to get out you may see people with a different logo on their shirt but yeah. you build long-term relationships the nfa is a great example of that i've attended those meetings for 21 years and so members become more than members they become friends how many team members do you have at star that are focused in the flooring business our installers are all tradesmen but yeah. 
we would be close to 100. And you say one of your goals and roles is to develop these people. When you're bringing them on as newbies, how do you know when there's talent and when there's not talent? Judging talent is more of an art than a science. Yeah. I mean, you never know 100%. We generally try to hire people that have not worked in the flooring business. Okay. It might be, be surprising because we go about things and our structure a little different. If you're just looking for the, the raw talents, we do some profiling of people in terms of what their personality style might be. You know, the toughest thing that you can't judge in an interview as well is character. You know, without strong character, you can't be a solid employer or a great teammate. We very much work in a team environment, and so you got to be not only talented, but you got to be a great teammate. We have a culture of keeping people long-term. That's part of the star tradition. You actually shifted from a commission-type structure to a base and bonus structure, didn't you? We're heavy in that. The retail, we've gone both ways, moving more back to a commission structure. There's some negative sides to commission selling. We try to compensate that, so it's more a combination of base and uh, incentive compensation, on maybe on sales and gross margin. So as you think about the flooring business and where it's headed, do you have any concerns? What's your outlook for the flooring business? There's always going to be demand. You know, the challenge is developing new installation capacity, probably an a higher average age on installers than you might like. There's still going to be a labor shortage. You know, recruiting employees and retain them is going to be critical. Uh, the NFA members are always talking about difficulty of getting salespeople, difficulty of getting installation capacity. What about this? Uh, I had a conversation with Dave Snedeker, you know, the president of the NFA, and he's talking about, you know, carpet has a cycle of seven to ten years. You need more. you got to replace it. As more hard surface is sold, is there a concern that, you better start selling something else as well, or you're going to have less sales? Yeah, there, there's a big concern with that, I think, as the mix goes up. The other concern that we wrestled through is I used to say that selling hard surface products was just a front to say that you were a full-service flooring dealer. Yeah. You made all your money in carpet. It has the lowest transaction cost to handle, mm-hmm. less risk, easier to install. I sat around and think now about when we go in and put 1,500 square feet of plank tile in a house that's mm-hmm. going to last for 25 years, you're going to get tired of it before it wears out. Yeah. Like you say, your cycle times are, are long, but uh-huh. then if you want to replace, you've got a gigantic job, a yeah. mess. So it, it is going to be a dramatic effect on the industry going forward as just the product life cycles are, are longer. And so I think it becomes more about a fashion reason for somebody to change product looks. Roger, you bring up an interesting point, and I'm, I'm glad you did. I want to remind my listeners that your salespeople, a lot of your salespeople, I, I think I'll probably have half of them, are degreed designers. They actually help your customers do the design work, and they sell a fashion product, don't they? They do, and not as many degreed ones on one retail sale floor that we do, but in the builder business, we pretty much use degreed designers. You can't get that at the home center, can you? Well, it's one way we differentiate the concept that we've worked on for a long time is to have experts in each role, you know, a master of a, one aspect of it is a opposed to a jack of all trades. You know, Roger, businesses generally like to grow on a year-over-year basis. You feel like that the stars got the potential to continue to grow in the flooring business? It all depends. I think in, in many ways we're very established in the Wichita market. In the builder segment in, in Oklahoma City, we're very uh, well established. In all cases, we've cut a pretty wide swath in terms of our market share. And so as that goes up, it becomes more difficult to keep the growth rates up. So you're either going to get into new product offerings, new product lines, or go to new market. In Oklahoma City, we're new in the commercial business. We have a lot of upside potential there. But the days in Wichita or Oklahoma City where you could grow 25 or 30% in a year because you didn't have much business when you started. I call it more ducks flying. Once you you have more customers to shoot at, once your market shares go up, it gets a little more difficult to grow rapidly. Do you kind of wish some of the suppliers would be, like you said a minute ago, Instead of jack of all trade, masters at one? You know, at, at times I think one of my concepts is the value of focus, you know, and that's in terms of setting your priorities and what you want to become. I tell the team if you don't care where you're going about any road to get you there. If you've got a destination you want to arrive at, then you're going to have, have to have a vision for how you're going to get there and, and plans to get there. Well, as we wrap this up, Roger, you got any advice to people who are coming in behind you? working on your culture so you have a culture that people enjoy working in that uh, customers can sense when they come in i think the generational things are our realities too us baby boomers are leaving the workforce i'm going to have less and less impact going forward it's more of a quick turnaround society now you may think about buying flooring for four years but when you 
make up your mind that you're ready to do it, you want to do it quickly. Is that cycle time changed with the generational shift? Yeah, they're used to going online, shopping online, yeah. making things happen yeah, much thanks. quicker, whether it's the games kids play. Everything's a sped up in my view. But in terms of the flooring industry, it's been a real joy, and like I say, a lot of long-term relationships out at it. What are you and Lynn going to do out on the lake? Oh, uh, you know, I'll pull the grandkids around a lot on tubes and okay. water skis and uh-huh. those kind of things. I love just uh, sitting on the deck of, in nature, a face sport and part of my life, and I always feel close to my maker yeah. uh, when I'm in nature. How about that? Well, Roger, thanks for spending time with us, and we're going to miss you in the business and at the NFA meetings. Again, been talking to Roger Vogue, the Flooring Division President with Star Flooring and Decorating, and you've been listening to Kempar and FloorDaily.net.